Swing back on or what? It's just the the glove or like just drop it. I think I don't know. I want to say it's more. Mike's not on. No. Huh? Should be. It's all connected, isn't it? Oh, the stream's gonna crash if I unplug it. 100%. Yeah, it's all set up in that side, I don't know. We're back? Nah. Bollocks. Everything's on, I don't know. Ah, shit. Yeah. Everything's on. I don't know. We're back now. Yeah, I think we're sorted. Everything's on. I don't know. Nah. We're back now. Doesn't sound right. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're sorted. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Fuck no. I think we're good. No, I know you can hear it, so I just want to know if the mics are on or not. So right. So these two boxes are to be stripped and binned. So we're gonna strip them and bin them. I'm not keeping all types of rubbish this time. Uh, these two are to be kept and stored so they can go next door because I'm not setting that up yet. Uh, we need to find the adapter for that. That's for my bedroom. That's also for my bedroom. And Bucky's for my bedroom. Yeah, I think we're sort of now, I think. I don't know. I think so. Right, that's all that sorted. So we need to tackle the hallway now. Uh, yeah, hallway and then... Yeah, can't do an out with that. That's to go in the... That's to go with the canvas stuff. That's for the bin. So that's one thing we could do with a bin bag. Yeah, I think we're sorted now, I think. I'm not really 100% sure, if I'm honest. I have no idea. We've got Wi-Fi on this computer now. Yes. Oh, shit connection. Oh, no, there we go. That's fine. We'll Wi-Fi you through on that one for now. Uh, I need some chat. There we go, now we're chilling.
Take you through here into the dark room. What are you doing, doggo? You're just chillaxing, are you? These patches can go in here. There's a need a wash. We can shut this one and bang this on. And you should be able to see a bit better. And we're sort. Uh, you go. What are you saying? Hugs ready, but. Oh mate, honestly, I'm like that. Do you still live at home, Benji? Or are you are you out on your own, are you? I never know how old you are, actually. I think you're the same age as me, aren't you? Or you're slightly older than me, I think. Big Benji's a bit older than me. I'm pretty sure. Right, so, we've got stuff up there. We're going to bang that 24 on here for now, just to get it out of the way with... Yeah, we'll bang the 24 in here with that other computer. So we'll do tablet mounts up here for now. Because this is all camera gear anyway. This whole, this whole cupboard's camera gear. That cupboard I don't think has got a lot in, so... Yeah, but I don't want to put... Yeah, fair point. Hasn't got a lot in, but I also don't want to put... Let me go XLR in there because it's heavy. Probably go go XLR in this bottom one, and we'll go with a farm sim panel up there. Because it's not very heavy. Yeah, that'll do. Beautiful. That'll work. We'll wang them up there. I'm definitely going to twat my head off one of these, like I'm telling you. Shifter box. I don't think there was out left in there. I'll tell you what. If uh, if if Stokey's gonna do me another shift there, I'm one hundred percent gonna do an unboxing on the next one. My God, the, the, he boxed it far better than than the other one came. I tell you, it was really really good. Like, can't wait to get this tabletop cut down, man. It's far too long. All right, what's the chat saying? Hey, how are you doing? On your own. Oh, you're 29. All right, so you're a little bit younger than me. Not much in it though. What am I? 34, 33, 33. I'm gonna guess. 30. Yeah, 33. Ish. I'm 33. Give or take a few years. For, uh, for tea tonight, babe. What you what you having? I guarantee you she's gonna order in. She's had a day from hell today. Like we we actually made a good day out of it, but it, yeah. I think if I if I was on my own today with Jackson, I would have lost it. Like I think uh, I think everything would have gone wrong today, like because it did. Yeah, I can't believe how like when I built this little setup for doing like odd jobs and setting stuff up and that 
I can't believe how much I use this little table. I use this more than I use my room. Like I use it every day for stuff. Like honestly. That's why it always ends up a mess, because like everything gets dumped on here, because it's just easy to stand and sort it out. Next one's going to be, we'll have a smoke, and then we'll tackle the gaming chair. And then after the gaming chair, I just want to put my racing stuff on my rig. Uh, big boy shifter. Let's go. I don't, know where, I don't know where it should live, though. So sick. I'll probably just leave it in there with the other shifters to be honest. No, I won't do mate. I mean, this gap's like, what's it come to? Like, comes to here, like, this is like, what, two and a half foot? Like, more, it's more than enough, like. So, don't forget, with, like, with here, it steps back, like, a good bit here. So, like, when you get to this point, it's really open. This point's a bit tight, but obviously the, the desktop's, the new one cut off here. So, the new one's only from here. So, you lose all this. So, all that's going. This is just spare top I had. So, this isn't what's staying. This is all, like, th four different pieces of top, all just resting on here. This isn't like the final top, it's just what I had left over. But I didn't see the point in splicing the back when I might be able to use this for somewhere else. I don't know yet, we'll see. All right, so this is all that cable stuff. Uh, that's for me rig. I don't really wanna, I don't know what to do with this. I can probably, will it tighten up a bit? Probably, all right, we'll stick some ties on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's 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 only uh, 46 deep. These drawers. This this tabletop's 600 deep, so it makes it look bad. But the the new one's only 47 deep, so it'll be fine. There's more than enough room. Like it's just it's a bit tight with this worktop on, cause like it's it's a lot like. Play some dirt. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I won't have time to do it tonight, I don't think, because by the time I get a few bits done and that, it's going to be it's going to be late. And I, I wanted to do a bit of Far Cry 6 with Becky tonight, to be honest, if she fancied it. So that's kind of kind of where I'm going tonight, I think. So one of the reasons I wanted to get my desk set up so I could get on there. What what are you waiting for with your setup at the minute, Benji? What, what's the? I know you keep uh, you keep saying like you've got like a lot a lot of plan. You're doing like floor mount shifter and all that sort of stuff. But like what what are you actually like waiting on? Have you ordered anything yet, or is it just kind of waiting for the cash or? I think you're on a motor wheel now, aren't you? Is you on a fanatic shifter, I think? More's a wheelbase. I don't know which one you went for, like. No, no trucking tonight, boys. I'm on the uh, Far Cry. I'm going on Far Cry Five with a missus. Uh, six with a missus, I think. You got everything here now. Floor shifter, seat. Oh, nice. Mount screens. Oh, nice, man. What size screens did you end up going with them? 
Oh, that'll be sick, that. Floor mount shifter, I tried that on my rig and it was like, it was nice, but it didn't feel any different. Like, I ended up with a little bit more throw, but it just, it felt like really weak throw, you know? But I sit quite high in my rig, so probably, probably what it is, but yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got to admit, I wasn't, I wasn't like, oh, I need this, because I, I've been messing about with a twin stick shifter, so just that's kind of me, me little thing I've been doing on the side. So I've got two shifters, two Moser ones, and I've been messing on like with a twin stick idea. But I tried, I tried twin stick on the floor, and I was like, nah, it's just not for me. Like. Had it how I used to have with the oh with the desk yeah pulling the rig out etc just one forty three with a tall bi tracker yeah don't have a space for triples yeah I mean you would though like if you went small triples you know if you can fit a forty three and you can fit triple twenty fours in no bother you just have to run them really close that's the downside but triple twenty fours was probably one of my best experiences because it sits right in between your wheel and your wheel base and they sit right like it's just the wrap around feel being able to pull up to a junction and just be like yo like it was better than my 43s i must say because on my 43s i couldn't get close enough was the issue so because if i want to try and get the wheel base hat like the wheel base behind my monitors i couldn't because obviously it would push me my wheel base down so Desk set up and the rig set up, nice. Yeah, that's good. Uh, run triples, but grabbed the A34. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. So what wheel are you running now, then? You're running Moser in that, are you? I can't see, if you're spending a lot of time with uh, Bob, I can't see Bob not talking you into a Moser, like. Used to have 43 triple in your old place. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, but honestly, like tw triple twenty sevens is better. Like if you run them, if you run them like in a in a correct place. That's what I thought about doing here. The only thing that bothered me is if I did if I went back to twenty sevens or thirty twos, I would have to mount them to the rig, and then swapping the wheel over is a nightmare. Uh, and then if I went two rigs, that means two computers, and I'm just not willing to go down that route again. So. R9, you talked him into it. Yeah, all right. It's the height uh, you don't like. The height of what, the 43s you mean? So one of the things with my 65s at the minute, the, the, the too high, I need, to, I need to drop them. They need to come down like nearly a foot and a half, like that's how far they need to come down. <clears throat> oh, maybe you mean your 43 was too high. They, I could never go back to an ultra wide now. I've got an ultra wide. I definitely think I had Bob talked into the Moser before you, like, I'm not going to lie. Pretty sure I had him talked into it. I think you got him to pull the trigger earlier, to be fair. But uh, I definitely had him talked into it, that's for sure. I'm pleased he did it. I don't really know how I feel about the pedal situation, like, I, it's not, not for me. I get you just chucking in that, but... You need you need a nice set of pedals under your feet, man. And the the Moza SRPs are just shite. They are absolutely fantastic for 150 quid, but once you've had like a slightly better set of pedals, they are crap. So if I was to go to 24s, I would lose so much screen height. If you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see, so it, 43s or 27s for me, I, w I wouldn't touch 32s. And the only reason is, Bob's 32s are nice, 
but where Bob sits, the actual wrap around experience will be zero for him. And I know because he's a big chap. So he sits quite far back. He has his monitors behind his wheelbase and he won't be in the screens. I know he won't. So if he actually looks like this and looks like that, there's no way he'll be in the screens. He, he won't. He, I guarantee it. So to do that, he would need to put his monitors over his wheelbase, which is fine because that's where you should have it. So you should have your monitors on the actual shaft of your wheelbase. The problem with 32s is they're too big. So if you, if you get your centre of your eye to the centre of your monitor, you end up, you can't drop the monitors because it drops your wheelbase. You can't lift your wheelbase up because it tightens your monitors. This is why 27s, and you'll find a lot of sim racers stick to 27s because you can have them in the perfect field of view. Probably the best setup I had was 27s. Not great if you're doing anything else. That's the problem. So if you want to like chill on farm sim on single screen or something like that, that's the bit I don't like. If I want to go and chill on my rig on, sing on single screen, it's awesome because it's fucking huge. So you get that great feeling. But then you end up having to sit further back is the other problem. So it's personal preference as well as the hard part. So, but yeah, 32s was that awkward situation. Like 43s, wang it right up against the back of your wheelbase. So like 43s, mint. So I've got, I've got triple 43s laid down the back of here. There's three of them down there, anyway. So with 43s, you can have your wheelbase and you can just mash them right up against here. And then with 27s, you can, I don't know if I can get this off on my own. Yeah, with 27s, you can just sit them on the shaft. So if that was straight, you can just sit them on the shaft. So they sit like here, which is awesome because then you get that wrap around feeling right around you. And the 43s is awesome, but with the, 32s, they want to sit about here, which is normally where your wheelbase will be, and they end up too high or too low, depending on what you're doing. So it's, it's uh, 32s was a right awkward thing. Or, as I say, you do what Bob's done, and you just accept that it's going to push you out of the, like, out of the immersion, and that's fine. So, yeah, 27s a good, man. Uh, just need them closer, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my 65s I can get closer, but I just, you can't fucking see. The, the gauges, everything's too big. The whole point of 65s is you can come away from it, which is awesome. But, I mean, I, I am enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. Right, so we're going to go with the spare computer that we don't know what we're doing with yet, up on here. And we're going to bang the 24-inch monitor up here as well, just to get it out of my room for now. And to be honest, it'll work out as quite a good test bench which will be good. So that is camera gear, so you can go. I love having like a camera gear cupboard. That's epic. So that is, that's my tablet. Why the fuck that's in here, I have no idea. And then we'll get the rig swapped over to racing equipment. And, oh no, we've got to build my chair first. Oh yeah, forgot about my chair. Yeah, chair building first, that's what we're doing. I've <laughs> completely forgot I even owned a chair. Oh, that would be my first noble chair as well, which I'm quite looking forward to. I've never had one. I've always fancied one. So I'm hoping it's going to be slightly higher than the uh, Bowley's chair, because I'll tell you what, that, that was a chair I really wasn't expecting to be good, and it really is good, like. So, yeah, that Bowley's chair I was expecting to be shite, to be honest, and it is. Still 350 quid, though. So... Not a cheap chair, granted. Alright, you park your bum there and you're out my road. That gear's just to go on charge. Mint. We'll pull the bowlies, we'll pull the new chair in here and then we'll uh, we'll go and have a quick smoke, hopefully without the dog. Hopefully. We'll see. It's a giant desk, this. It might not look big, but it really is. What's up, man? Chilling. Pedal box you're looking at, nice. Check them out. Yeah, I'll have a look, dude. Uh, it just depends what, you, what you're getting them for. Like, are you getting them for trucking? Are you getting them for 
for racing, like, yeah, they're good. Just get them off AliExpress, though, they're cheaper. You get them for about 160 quid. They're good, they're just, yeah. They're a good set of pedals. I mean, personally, for what you do, I would have more gone down the route of like a second-hand set of V3 Fanatics, if, if it was me. They're all black, they're CNC'd, they work fucking great for what they are. You're not doing a lot of sim racing. The problem is with like the sim jack stuff and that and the sim, sim your box, they are nice, but they are pure copy of the Husenvelts, just in a bad way, like nowhere near. Like, completely different materials, you get a lot of squeaks, you gotta look at all the pivot joints and that. You just, you're asking for trouble, like, but they are good, I have got friends that have got them and they are good for what they are. So, no, they, honestly, for the money, they are good. If you want something that's gonna last you for a long period of time, if it was me, I would just get a pair of Fanatics. You can get them for like 250 quid or a little bit less. The USB, they literally work. You can buy bushes for them. You can buy uh, load cells for them. They're just, a, they're just an easy, cheap pedal to repair. And the quality of them for the money is phenomenal. Like for 200 quid. They're not worth, like my inverted ones aren't worth 600 quid, but I got them for free. So I got them in a deal off Facebook Marketplace. Literally, they owe me nothing. So at the end of the day, they're well worth it for what I paid for them. And I've got another set of pedals, V3s, the normal, you know, the normal way. But if you're trucking, you want inverted all day. I'm not trying to sell you anything or nothing like that, like at all, because I sell all my stuff privately anyway, like just on, on eBay. I don't get involved with friends or that sort of stuff. Uh, I do sell some stuff to friends, but I end up like getting the money like in bits and bobs, which is fine if it's just one or two people, but if you then get 10 people doing it, one of the one of the problems you'll find, right? I don't really know how to demonstrate this, but one of the problems you'll have, and I'll try I'll try and demonstrate this the best way I can, right? But there's two different types of pedals, right? So you get you've got inverted pedals, and you've got floor mount pedal box, right? So the pedals you're talking about are a floor mounted pedal box, which is fine. So the whole point of a floor mounted pedal box is you want to get your seat low and you want to try, you, you want to have them sitting like this, the pedal faces, so you want to get your legs straight to the pedals. So you want to try and get the pedals around about bum height. Uh, whereas with the floor mounted pedals, if you, get, if you put them too low, your, your ankle ends up like this, trying to break its back. Because obviously, when your leg naturally falls off the chair, your foot is sitting like this. It's not sitting like this. So if you're gonna use a flat pair of pedals, you need to have your seat tilted and you need to get your leg height up. So my other pedals that I run, I run them on these top bars and they sit really high and they're really comfortable. These are sitting on the floor because they're inverted. You need a bend on your leg to use them. So, as you can see, my legs drop off. So my legs drop down and they're just naturally there. I can put my foot on the footrest for, for chilling, but they're, they're just naturally exactly where they want to be. My foot literally sits flat on them. Completely natural, because they're inverted. But if I, had them, if I had normal pedals, I can't bend my ankles enough. You would end up sitting like this, which is just really uncomfortable. Whereas naturally your legs just fall to the floor. It's nice and comfortable under here, sitting on my thigh. And then my racing pedals sit up here. And what happens, what you look at, is what happens when I pick my leg up, my foot goes straight. So as you bend it down, it's angled. But as I pick my leg up, my foot's straight. So then I can use straight floor mounted pedals. So if you're trying to replicate trucking, and like general drifting and things like that, I would go with an inverted set of pedals or buy something like the Sim Simia Jack ones or something like that and invert them yourself. That's what I would do. Uh, I've just gone for two pedal boxes because it's easier. It's one USB, you just bang, bang the box off and bang the new one in and it's done. Like it's miles easier for me, but it's personal preference. And the good thing is it's your simulator so you can do what you want with it. But 
just speaking from an experience point of view and trying to explain to you why I've done things the way I've done it is because I've learnt <laughs> the hard way. So, yeah, you want them inverted for sure. Uh, I think in fact might be the way for you. So the only problem with fanatics, and I'll be real with you, uh, if you want them inverting, the inverted fanatics are expensive. Like, real expensive. So, if you were going to go fanatics, I would just go for the floor mounted fanatics and I would just mount them roughly flat. And they're quite nice because the floor mounted ones are like laid back. They're not up like this. They're quite laid back. So I would just mount them flat on the floor and your feet will just naturally, they're, they're beautiful. The problem with the fanatics ones, V3s, is if you want them in the GT, trying to pick them up's hard. You've got to you've got to tilt them and then your foot plate ends up angled. So for what you want, I would just get a normal set of V3s, two two hundred quid on a good day, and you, and you're rocking. I mean, it's a phenomenal set of pedals for that money. Like honestly, even for the four four five hundred pound you, they're not a bad set of pedals. But for that sort of money, they're a phenomenal set of pedals for two hundred pound. Like, and anyone that wants to argue can argue, but this, the physical build quality for 200 quid is incredible. So, why is your other monitor on your desk not on? It is. Should be, I think. Yeah, I mean, just bear in mind as well, what handbrake do you have uh, for your setup? I just use a Moser handbrake. I've got two Fnatic handbrakes and a Moser handbrake, but the Moser one, just simplistic. It feels good. The Fnatic one feels like gash. Like, it, it, it's really flimsy. It's around about the same money, a little bit more than the Moser one, and the Moser one just feels good. Like, it, honestly, it just feels like it's not going to snap in half. So... Yeah, the, 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 other, uh, the other monitor should be on. You've got me thinking now before I go for my smoke. You know, like attitude, how's it going? Dog's got attitude, man. Oh, it's a screensaver, mate. That's all it is. It is on. It's just on screensaver. See? Yeah. Okay. You were, you were correct. Ish. <laughs> I'll give you that one. You were kind of correct. Right, I'm just going to leave you in the kitchen because you don't need to come outside because whenever I take you outside, you disconnect. No, you're good, dude. I mean, at the, the, the end of the day, it's your money. Do whatever you want, really. I mean, if you're GT racing or like sim racing a lot the the floor mounted pedals are better like personally but as i say it depends if you're trying to build a truck then floor mounted pedals you know but the the fanatic ones are good for that uh, and some of the american trucks are floor mounted to be fair they don't have hanging pedals they're actually on the floor so yeah no bother mate catching it how much do they retail at and yeah, this bears my son has a G920. Yeah, so the Fnatic handbrake's about 95 quid. You can get it from GT Omega. Uh, no, sorry, the Moser handbrake's about 95 quid. It is USB. You can get it from Overclockers or GT Omega in the UK. Fantastic handbrake for the money. Like, it's under 100 quid. It's a really good handbrake for the money. I don't know how many people's got it in stock at the minute, but the Moser stuff's flying off the shelves, man. I have noticed the price is starting to go up slightly. Oh, quiet. I can see you. I just don't want you running around in the rain. I'll get to build my new chair now. Sick. So yeah, I think, I think where I went wrong to start with is I was really... I was really trying to get my room finished, like beautiful and all that. And at the end of the day, it needs to be usable for now. I can take my desk apart, I can do all the wire management, I can set lights up, microphones, all that. And at the end of the day, I need to be able to walk in the room and use it is, is the main point at the moment. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, my fanatic inverted pedals, I use them all the time, and I love them. I think they're absolutely great, like, but they're not worth 600 quid. So, but they, I, I really do like them. Uh, the other thing on the handbrake front, have a look on the... Uh, what did I, where did I tell Benji to go for pedals? I can't remember. Yeah, it's that site that everyone thinks is crap. But they, they've got some really good sim racing gear in, like... So, but then the other thing's hard, right? Because it's all right going USB pedals and all that, but there's certain games like Euro Truck that only recognise five USB inputs. And it really, like, if you want to generally play Forza and use your, use your, like, your, use your wheel and that as a game, you are better with something like a Logitech where everything plugs into the wheelbase. So on that front, I would tell you to go for like a Moza R9 put everything in. AliExpress, that was the one. Cheers, Mitch. How are you doing, dude? But yeah, AliExpress. But yeah, something like the Moser R12 where you can plug everything in the wheelbase. That's what I miss. I wish I went R12 all day. But I got my R9 before the R12 became available. Uh, it wasn't, you couldn't even get it. So... I wonder what Becky's having for food, man. I'm looking forward to have a look at my new chair, Hall. New chair, dear. I know. I bought myself a new chair, didn't I? Oh, good, Mitch. I'm not too bad. I'm a bit soft, but I'm not as erect as yesterday, but I'm, I'm all right. We're chilling, we're chilling. Got me, uh, I can't wait to get this set up. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll move this into the light so you can see. I, uh, I spent a bit of time on this today. This is my new wheel deck for my racing rig. It is sick. So let us, uh, let me bring you through here. What did I do with my phone? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is sick, man. I spent a bit of time on this today. I've got the side mount wheel plate. But yeah, it's all it's all anodized. So yeah, I've got the side mount wheel plate. And then I've got the button box mounted and then I've got all the anodized bolts. Like it looks so sick. Looks so good. Oh get me wrong, I really do wish I had a black rig, but the cost of getting a black rig for me is just far too much money. Uh yeah, it's just one of them things. If Simlab would send me a black rig, that would be awesome, but it just isn't, like jokes aside, even if he didn't send me one, it just isn't worth the money. Uh, 1,500 quid for me to change a rig that it was was 1,200 quid, it just doesn't make any sense just because I want a black one. Like, Hi, right, Holly Bobby. I know, you like cardboard, don't you? Big cardboard. Right, let's bring the chat down to my level. You can come in if you want, you know. You can come in, it's fine. What we seeing? What were you seeing? Oh, right in the ghoulies. Right in the ghoulies. What were you saying, like? Yeah. What were you saying? Where's your ball? You got you you, you got a ball or where's your ball? What fits your ball? Huh? Couldn't find anywhere uh, to powder coat it. Yeah, I probably could. I just, I think it would be quite dear, mate, if I'm honest. So, and, uh, and the other thing is, I move my rig a lot, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna wrap it in Alcantara, I think. So, 
Your living room looks smashing. Uh, big telly, comfy sofa. Yeah. I've got the. Uh, did you not see me bed as well? I built a bed in my living room. Looks, looks sick. But yeah, I move me rig, like I move me, I change my wheelbase a lot and all that. So please be metal, please be metal. Oh, she's metal. I didn't do any research on this chair, so. I did no research on it, we just bought it. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Hey, get off me form, you little thief. Get off me form. Get off me form. You're a thief. You're a thief, dog. Nah. Get off me form! Big dog, waggy bomb, waggy bop. Wait, what did you do with your ball? Oh, nice catch. Uh, you have to let me know on the 8th, but uh, as I have been looking at both. Yeah. Which, what, you've been looking at the Bowleys and the, uh, you've been looking at the Bowleys and the, uh, and this one, have you? Yeah, so this is a Noble and then that's a Bowley's. The Bowley's one is really nice. Like, really nice. But, again, I say it's really nice. I bought that brand new for 60 quid. Guy only had it three months and then he sold it to me for 60 pounds. But it is a 350 pound chair. So, should it be nice? Well, of course it should. Hey, big dog. Boom. Left it all. King of Resto, it's Sean, that's Corey's old game and name. Oh, yeah, it's Sean. <laughs> Big Sean. Yeah, you, you don't think you've seen the house at all, have you? Oh, it's my dad's old, uh, one of my dad's old pals. I say my dad's old friends, but me and Sean were good friends. Yeah, we're getting there, mate. There you go. Slowly, I've not got any good lighting in yet, but we started there, uh, got the ceiling pretty much done. And then we've got the rig built, which is massive now. And then we've got the desk built, which is looking pretty cool. So just on building my new chair. And then we've got, uh, got the hallway is a bit full at the minute, but we've got this uh, little cupboard built. I just need a new worktop because this one's a bit long. So yeah, we've got the little cupboard built in the kitchen, which looks pretty sick. Uh, we've got the living room pretty much all decked out so we've got we've got a big five seater sofa in we've got the wheel cabinet in which looks pretty awesome so i'm gonna sec i throw the ball for the dog yeah it's uh, it's looking really good so this looks a bit odd uh which i completely understand it's a big old unit it's a shame this if this wasn't here this would have fitted lovely in there but it is what it is we need it so yeah it's just a bed that's all it is so it's just literally a pull down bed so just to give you an idea you literally just pull it down and then you've got a double bed simple as that boom quilt's already in just take the straps off and go to bed that's it simple as that and then when you want to put it away just bang it away 
easy. So yeah, it's looking good, man. Then we've got the uh, kitchen's pretty set up. We're, we're getting there slowly. But uh, yeah, I forgot you hadn't seen it for a while, Sean. So bedroom, I just got all my bedroom furniture built. I haven't actually tidied my bedroom yet. So, but yeah, bedroom's pretty tight, uh, but I only sleep in it. So yeah, bedroom's pretty tight. So I just got built that yesterday. Got the wardrobe, got, got a set of drawers here and the bed and that's it. Like, it's pretty tight, but it's actually like enough room, you know? So, yeah, getting there. I don't know if Sean's left now, but <laughs> it's always the same. Someone comes in to say hello and then they dip off. So, but yeah, there you go, mate. Hope you're well. I know, I know you're needy. But yeah, we're getting there. Slowly, chat, slowly. You're very needy, you know. Can you stop rubbing yourself on my microphone. Oh, this chair's looking there. Uh, she's looking a bit small, chat. <laughs> the chair's looking a bit small, Hall. I don't know if my big box's going to fit in there, like. Ooh, I don't know if I like the slanted armrest though. Ooh, quite nice though. Ooh, build quality is nice. Yeah, I'll call in for a couple of at some point and uh, go for a walk with the dog. Yeah, look, it's looking good, mate, isn't it? It's getting there. I even went down the Berghouse Fleece route just to blend into the area. Can you go and get your ball? Move your ball. Go and get your ball. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. Be sick. I'm pleased you pointed out who you were there because I had no idea who you were, so. What did uh, Doghouse? Yes, mate, I've been looking for months. Yeah, I mean, the, the Noble stuff looks really nice. So, Jesus. The build, the build quality is pretty violent, like. Wow. Oh. I think we need this bit. I'll put the bottom together first. I mean, I must say for gaming chairs, I would definitely advise trying to go second hand. You know, because for, I mean, this one was 400. Uh, I'm not saying it's not worth 400, but the amount of gaming chairs I've bought used. I mean, I've got, I've got one at John's at the minute. That was a GT Omega, paid 100 quid for that, brand new. Awesome chair, sport, sport version as well, so it's their 300 quid version. Beautiful chair. Uh, and then the Bowley's one behind me was 350 quid, and I got that for 60 quid, which is the deal. But the problem is, right, everyone comes into my stream, and the first thing they say is, oh, where would you get that? And the first thing I'll say is, oh, Facebook Marketplace. So they run off. They go and have one look on Facebook Marketplace, like, oh, it must be your area, we don't get anything like that down here. And I'm like, no, mate, it's not how it works. I literally troll that place for hours, like, day in and day out. So, I literally just sit and troll. Tell you what, it's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice chair. Yeah, quite happy with that. But again, it's like, it's one of them things, I'm saying it's a nice chair, but it was... Near 400 pounds, it should be nice. How we doing, chat? Very tidy. Right. Bang some wheels on her. I'm gonna bang some wheels on a hole. Oh, wait. What are we doing tonight, Hall? Are we, are we eating out or are we eating in? What are you thinking? What's your crack? What's the matter? Are you scared of this thing? You don't have to sit on the rubber, you know. How do we get the? How do we get these bad boys in? Oh, we just push it. Nice. But yeah, this will be my first noble chair. So quite happy at that. What's happening, my darling? How are we doing? Um, do I smell good? Are we are we chilling? 
Yeah, you just want a hug. Yeah, I just want a hug as well. I know, and I, I know. What are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah. I know, you did really good today. You did a lot of work in the day because we've been out all day, I know. And then, you had to, and then you had to do some sleeping, didn't you? You did a lot of sleeping, that happened. I know. And you slept for like a good 20 minutes, didn't you? That was a whole 20 minutes sleep you did right there. Whole 20 minutes. That's like, you can go for another five days now. You know, 20 mile under your belt. <laughs> what are you seeing? Go and get your ball. Right, go and, uh, you want to play, I know you. Go and get your ball. Where's your ball at? What's this here? Is that a ball? Oh, it's a bit of a ball. Go and get your ball. Are you scared of the box? Is that what you're saying? Go and get your ball. Alright, uh, is the stream died again, is it? Chat, are we good? Or am I missing chat? I don't know, am I missing chat? I don't think so. No, I think these are all just quiet. I don't think we've died. Holly? 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 Out the bolt. I saw you. I saw you were literally eating bolts. Literally, I just witnessed it. I did. Right, which way? So, which way is forward? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Do we need to read the destructions? Probably say it's worth it. All good. Right, excellent. Right, so the bars and that go at the front. We bang the bolts in. Jobs are good. So that's four bolts. Yeah, I can do that. So we need to stick that on before I forget, because every chair I've ever built in my life, I forget to put this bit on. <laughs> Generally. Right, so, oh, got an Allen key as well. Thank you, new noble. Yeah, it is. It's really nice, nice chair. Is that four or eight? Just four. Right, now we need the Allen key. So, the handles go towards the front. Bear with me chat while I bought this up. Hey, it seems to be made fairly well. Seem quite happy with it so far. I mean, it's all metal apart from the bloody handles that you use to pull the chair up and down. Which would have been nice to just do them in. But it would have been nice to just get them done in uh in metal as well. Seems a little bit pointless. Hey up, uh, Farmer Ollie, how you doing? May I find your end? Excellent. What are we going to go for for tea tonight, chat? What are we say? What's everyone else having? Make me hungry, and then I'll decide what I'm having. It looks a small chair. This it's a good job I've got. I've kept the Bowley's chair because I don't think my missus is going to fit the big, the big rear end in this thing. To be honest with you. Oh, she's low chat. Oh, 
might be a bit low, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Oh no. I hope it's not. Alright, so that gang's in there, then we bang. What are we banging in there? Three bolts? Three bolts in this one. I might have prematurely put the back on, yeah, put the base on, but it's on now, so. So we'll bang that in there. Gangs in there, wait, wait. Tell you what, it's a violent chair, like. I have just worked out one thing, though. Oh, no. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was just going to say, does the back actually adjust? But yes, it does. That's nice. The build quality is very nice. Like, very happy with that. I kind of wish it was slightly taller, though. I've got a sausage. All right, Biz, 2024, you can have a sausage if you want one. Uh, hi, it's Ted, how are you doing? Been around since the days of you racing Project Car 2 with your dad, yeah. Hope you can get back to doing some race sims when you set up. Yeah, I will do, dude. I mean, I, massive regret me not making time. I mean, to be fair, me dad wasn't gaming much either. Uh, not, not racing, me dad was War Thunder all the time, so... Uh, but I do regret it, because now I can't race with my dad, so, uh, yeah. It's one of them things. You've got sausage and mash, everyone on the sausage tonight, are they? Hey, Daniel, chicken burgers and chips. Oh, two chicken burgers, oof, I couldn't do two. Right, so, we've done that bit. We've done it, we've already done that bit. Hang on. What's that? Is that that bit there? Does that just slide on, does it? It's just a, oh, it's a magnetic cover. Oh, I like that. I like that, that's tidy. They've thought about that. Right, bang that in. And then what's that? Two two bolts. Sorry to the headphone users, man, I apologize. Obviously I went fabric this time because I keep wearing the leather out, so we went fabric this time. Did he play War Thunder Tanks, I bet, uh, my old man. Uh, tanks he loved, but he played everything. He had, uh, I'll have to have a check on his computer, but I think between the two Steam accounts, he had about 10,000 or 11,000 hours in. So, yeah, that was his primarily played game. And then I think he had around about 8,500 hours on Forza 4. And not as many on Forza 5, because obviously he passed away before.
before I could get much more time in. Unfortunately. I can't get this bolt in. That's annoying. Coming together quite well until I get to this bolt and I can't. Uh, oh no, there we go. Come on, scratch that. Just got this one to go in. See if this one will go in as, as good. There we go. We're chilling now. Hey, mate, how are you doing, dude? Hello to you, Mr. Wonderful. Right, so got that. I'll tell you what is nice on the noble chair, I'm not gonna lie, is the instruction book is like laminated, which is sick. Right, now we find out that the chair is just gonna be too low. See, I'll, I'll tell you, right, I actually ordered this chair before I realized my desk was too high. So. <laughs> It was a genuine mistake. It's a skinny chair, though. Oh. Right, I'll be real, straight away. Like, instantly, not good. Like, not good. I, I wondered that it was going to be too, going to be too thick. Yeah, that's nowhere near as comfortable as the Bowley chair. Like, nowhere near. The Bowley chair is way, way more comfortable. And there's like no height movement in it either. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, well that's better. Bear with. It. I tell you what though. I don't know if it's just better quality, but my god, it's hard on the ass. So how do we? How do I adjust the, the throw? So that's the bottom of the chair. Oh, what's that? Right, I don't really understand how the chair works. Might need to do some. Uh... Oh, I, w I wish it. I wish it was a bit longer. You're too tall for it. It feels that way. Yeah. Uh, three thousand two hundred eighty-one on record. War Thunder on Nev three one one. Yeah, I know. My dad ran like four different Steam accounts too. So. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, I just... No. I might have just wasted some money, man. I should have maybe gone for the XL, but it does fit me back well. But uh, it's not, it's not great. Definitely not tall enough for that. So how do we actually, how do we like tilt the back? That's up and down. Oh, we twist. That's on a lever, is it?
Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird. So you can't, yeah, you can't just move the back though, can you? Hmm. Oh, so that's stronger. Yeah, so you, you can't just tilt the back back. Yeah, it's like tilts the base as well. Oh, like it's not, it's, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but. I would, I would have to say, if you're in the market for a chair, luckily I bought this myself, so it doesn't matter. But I, I would have to say, I would buy one of them. I mean, look how much taller it is. This is meant to be the taller one. It's tiny. Look, it feels tiny. I'm only five, what am I, five, five, five six? I mean, it, it feels tiny. Like, it feel, like, I feel cramped as well. Like, it, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I must say, I'm not a fan. I might go, I might, to be fair though, I might go on no armrests, but yeah, definitely. It's not, it's not great, boys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Okay. I don't even, I, I'm not even a big fan of the look, mate. This thing. This thing's gangster. Like, oh. It's so comfortable. Ah, this is way better. Like, night and day. Like, my God. All day, every day. I should have bought one of these. Ah, what did I buy that for? Yeah, this is like night and day better. Like, it's comfy. Like, it's soft. That thing's not nice at all. Ah, it's not nice, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm, I'm. It, this is the problem. I mean, I read loads of reviews, and everyone was like, "Oh, it's such a good chair." It's this, that, and the other thing. And nah, like nowhere near as nice as that. It's tiny. Like I, I should have maybe gone for the XL, but when I did the measurements, oh, it's so hard. Like it's so hard. Oh, bugger. I made a mistake, man. Shit. I can't even, like, I won't even be able to keep it because it's too small for, like, literally anybody else who wants to use it. So, yeah, it's a uh, shite. Yeah, this one's more expensive. Yeah, this one, buy a long way. I don't know if I can send it back. I've already built it now. Yeah, I buy my gear myself. Some of the gear I've had like uh, from sponsors and that on the simulator, but all, all this is bought by me. Well, technically me and me dead dad, technically. That's not good, man. But, I say it's not good, but I don't know. It's, it's a lot harder than the other chair. Like, like a lot harder than the other chair. But then, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know. Hmm. It's like... Don't know if I like it or not. I, I don't know. Just don't know. It's definitely too short. I mean, Jesus Christ. The other chair was short, but my God, it is too short. I feel like I'm, like, I need to go to space and back. Jesus. 
This was meant to be like this was meant to be three centimeters taller than the other one, and it is like it is nowhere near. It's not it's not a bad experience though, but it's definitely too short. I can measure it though, like I literally measured it, and it was meant to be like it was definitely meant to be taller than that, and it is tiny. Why is it so short? Where's my tape measure at? Me and this fucking tape measure. I don't know what the hell I do with it. Oh, my bad, chat. I've just realised I dropped my microphone. There we go. Uh, tape measure, where you at? What are you seeing? What have I done with my tape? It's definitely not the height it was meant to be. I'm telling you that for free. It's tiny. Uh, I think you donated it. Donated what? Uh, I take some time to soften the cushions. Yeah, I got it from overclockers. It's like, I, th I think comfortability-wise it'll be all right, but it's tiny, like it's tight on my, like it's tight on here. Like it's really tight. Yeah, the, 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 the annoying thing is I treat myself to it out, my dad, like, out of what my dad left, the same as what I got my screens and that. So I did treat myself to it, but it's, uh, it's disappointing. It's shit as well, because it's like, you can't hide your disappointment. Did you buy? Yes, my dad died, left me some money, I bought the chair and I bought myself some new screens with my money that my dead dad gave me. I don't know what else you want me to say. Uh, did they actually send the right side? I don't know. It feels tiny. I need, I, I need my tape measure. That's what I need. It feels literally tiny, like... It's uncomfortably small, and it's meant to be two centimetres taller than this chair. This chair is like miles taller. They've definitely sent the wrong one, haven't they, do you reckon? So that's the Epic Compact, or did I just buy the wrong chair? Nah, it was meant to be like 60 tall, though. Sure. Hang on. It is, man. Manly. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Mate, it's so small, like. And it wasn't cheap, like. <sighs> Should have just gone with what I knew, man. I was going to go GT Omega again, but I've been through, like, four of them. And I just the bottoms keep falling out on them. So, they're good, but they're 370 quid now. But... It's so small, the chair, man, like... Ah, uh, did I buy the wrong chair? Is that what I did? It's definitely something I would do, because reading is not my strong point. I swear, though, it was meant to be 60 high. Yeah, so that's the black edition. I wanted the fabric version. Yeah, I think I've either they've sent me the wrong chair or I've bought the wrong chair. Definitely one or the other. It's so small, man.
Fuck yeah, I bought the wrong chair. Fuck. Bastard. Yeah, 100% I bought the wrong one. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's devastating, that. Bugger. Yeah, that's, that's, that's on me, that. Fuck. Yeah, it's only 50 centimetres high on its max, and the other one's 59. And that, the other ones are one I thought I bought, but they're both the same bloody price as well. Bastard. Oh. Now it ever goes right when I buy myself stuff. I'm just going to double check that. They actually, uh, I did buy the wrong chair. Yeah, I bought the compact. Bollocks. <sighs> Fuck. Oh well. Oh, I'm stuck with it now. Shade. Oh, it's devastating that man. What a waste. You could just message them asking exchange and pay the difference. I don't know though. Oh, if it was Amazon, I would get it returned, man. Still return it. You have everything. Box it up and send it back. Do you think you can, like? I don't know how to get it collected or whatnot. I don't drive, you see, so it's like it's hard to get anything, like, moved. How many gaming chairs? Two. I've got two set up, so two chairs. Yeah. Bogger. Yeah, okay, weird easier. Yeah. Sure, you could just message them, you have everything, it came in. It's not damaged. Worth a shot. Yeah, I mean, it, un unfortunately, it is, it's just too low, like, it just, like, far too low. So, the good thing is that the, the other one should be a bit taller. I'll just pay, I'll just pay the difference. I'm not, I'm not asked at that. Uh, even if I lose postage or I'm not I'm not bothered, like it's completely and utterly my mistake, so so yeah, that's the epic is what I want. And I want the fabric one. Yeah, three 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 nine. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's the one I want, man. Problem is, I've got to try and get the feet out of it and everything now. It's going to be a nightmare. Oh. Oh, Popeye, right, okay. Yeah, problem is, boys, we've got to try and split the chair back now. Ah, what a nightmare that is. It's a nice chair, it's just fucking tiny. So, yeah, we'll just have to try and get it boxed up, man. Devastating, that. Oh, I'm so excited for my chair as well. I even paid extra now for the delivery. It's so small. <laughs> Which makes complete sense because I bought completely the wrong chair. Oh. oh well. You live and you learn. Yo, Mickey, right? If you hate me that much, dude, why do you come in? Like, I don't I don't understand. Makes no sense, dude. I'm grown up, man. I'm living on my own. Got my dog. I wet myself occasionally, but that's, you know, is what it is. I don't wear nappies all the time. I'm pretty grown up, man. I just don't understand, like, come and hate, but I don't know why you would stay and watch. Like, I don't... Makes no sense, man. You get noble chair? No, I got it from uh, Overclockers, dude. Yeah, Overclockers, man. So, yeah, we now need to try and detach the base, man, which is going to be the only issue. They're a nightmare to detach these. Come on. Oh, well, I can knock this out with a piece of wood, that's fine, but trying to get it off the actual base is going to be the, is going to be the hard point, man. It's also got stitching missing as well, which is a bit of a shame. But that, that would do with me. <laughs> uh, are you telling you to, uh, because the chair's too small? True, could be, man. Could be. <laughs> and, uh, it's all good, man. No, it's, it's, honestly, it's no good, man. It's it's good. We'll 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 see if we can get it sent back. If not, it'll have to be on the first plant or something. Because uh, it's going to be no good to us, like, come out, you bastard. <sighs> I hate getting these off, man. They're so shit. <clears throat> oh, no! The wrong bit came off. I don't want you off. I want this bit off. Now I'm never going to get this bit off. Can't even knock this through either, I don't think. That bit's easy to get off because you wang it in a bucket and you just knock it out. This bit's the hard bit to get off. No. I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, it all returned it perfect. They might send out a special key to get it, the base off. But they might take it back with the base attached. 
you had the same problem. Right, okay. I'd go with replacing the gas strut. But if stitching is missing, it's not that, the chair's too small for me. Like, I can't fit my ass in it. Like, so it's not, it's not just the fact that the other one's taller. It's this one's 35% smaller than, than the original. So, you can't knock these, these struts don't knock through, do they? I don't think. It's a shame as well, because I haven't even sat on it that much, but. Come out, you bastard. She's not going to come out. That's fine, I'll have to send it back with a base on. Everything else is brand new, so fuck it. I don't want to mark the chair up on the floor. No. I do, yeah. Yeah, so this is my setup, and the setup next to me is me, me dad's setup, so. Obviously, when my dad died, he left me all his stuff, so. Obviously, I ended up with extra computers and stuff, so. I'm very lucky that I can have two setups. So I checked myself to a new chair because the chair behind me I got a really good deal and when my girlfriend stays over I wanted her to have somewhere to game. And also I really don't really need to explain myself to you. If I want to have two setups I'll have two setups. So I've only been gaming for like 14 years so I've never sold anything. I collect everything that I ever buy. So I'm able to give stuff away and help people because I keep my stuff because I choose to. Shame, uh, children's chair made him look buff. I know, mate, I know. It's a kid's chair, it's tiny. It's heartbroken, man. I generally thought I ordered the other one as well and I would have happily paid the extra and that didn't bother me. I just really didn't realise I'd ordered the compact. No idea. It was generally my bad. So I'll phone them tomorrow and see, see what the crack is. But we may as well take this apart now. I ordered a two inch, uh, uh, sorry, a four centimetre lift kit for that chair behind us as well. So I ordered, I ordered that earlier. So. Uh, it will tap out with a mallet, turn it upside down. Oh, you reckon? Just ring overclockers in the morning and explain to them you bought the wrong one. Uh... Yeah, absolutely, man. Oh no, you're good, dude. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna block Mickey. Mickey's still here supporting me, so. Right, it definitely won't tap out from the other side. Definitely not. So, I have no idea how we're going to get it out, but I think we'll just do what uh, what he said and we'll just we'll just leave it in. And uh and we'll just send it back like this for now. Like that's all I can do really. I've got everything else, so I just don't want to mark it all and and that so they'll, they'll know how to get it out. He's looked on YouTube. No, it's it's solid on the other end, dude. There's no there's no hole. Oh man, I'm not about like if 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 that's what Mickey enjoys to do. Like I'm not gonna just block somebody just because they enjoy trolling. Like it doesn't bother me. I'll just stop reading his comments if they actually become like pointless. Uh, shouldn't DPD to collect it. Send you the other one, yeah. Yeah, cheers Pop, I appreciate that dude. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before, or oh, I don't recognise you anyway. So... Oh no, you're good dude, it's just, it's, it, no, Doug, I appreciate the help, it's just, it's solid on the other end dude, so I don't, I honestly don't know how to, how to sort it, so... 
we'll just we'll box it up the best way we can and that's all we can do really. So I'll just have to explain to them that obviously I built it up and then and then realised. So I'm happy with the build quality and all that, it's just you know. That's the other problem is gonna be getting the getting the bloody feet out, isn't it? Oh no, feet came out, neighbor. Excellent. We'll give them a clean. I'm wasting money buying a chair I don't need. Mate, all of this is a waste. Everything in life that you buy, you paying for internet to watch me is a waste. You buying a phone and a computer to watch me is a waste. Me buying this floor was a waste. Me buying the camera. Me talking to you right now is a waste. Everything is a waste if you're dead. So I, I appreciate your comments on that, but it's one of them, man. <laughs> Don't time him out, man. He's chilling. I'm all good with him. All right, we lost. We've lost the magnet. So don't know where my magnet's gone. I'll keep keep an eye out for a magnet, chat. Yeah, Mitch gave up first, man. No, so Mickey comes, right, so Mickey comes from back in the day, like what, three or four years ago where obviously I used to stream like 10, 15 hours a day and I ended up getting an awful lot of donations. Uh, not just donations, but just, just general income. And it was great, it was fantastic. Uh, but obviously I chose to spend that on the game and stuff. So he thinks, me having two chairs uh, is me wasting other people's money on that, but this this is my money. Like it was literally left to me in my dad's will by my dad, so I can buy whatever I want with it if I want to go and spend it on whatever. But if he's gonna come in and say stuff's a waste, everything's a fucking waste in life, literally. That's what I hate. What people can't see, like having two chairs is a waste, but having me simulator is fine. Everything's a waste. Paying your council tax every month's a waste. Paying your car insurance. If you don't crash your car and you've paid your car insurance for 40 years, it's a complete waste. Literally everything in life is a waste if you, if you want to look at life that way, you know? So, but it is what it is, man. I just don't understand people supporting creators and that if, if you don't agree with the creator himself. If you don't like them, why? I don't understand why you would support them. Doesn't make any sense. Yo, Blunts, how we doing? Just take the comments on the chain. Uh, mate, it doesn't affect me at all. Like, literally, it doesn't bother me. I don't get annoyed or angry. I get annoyed a little bit with certain comments, like having two chairs is a waste, but having one chair isn't. Everything, gaming is a complete choice. It's all a waste. So, that stuff like that bothers me a little bit, because it's like... It's all a waste, you know? Ah. How we doing, man? Fun? Yeah, big fun. Well, not fun, mate. I bought the wrong chair, didn't I? So, yeah. I'm a bit heartbroken, to be honest. But, here's what it is. You make mistakes, you pay for it, I suppose. Generally thought about it, and the funny thing is, right? I just got confused when I ordered it because I even checked the measurements on the chair that I thought I'd bought. <laughs> so, all the measurements I was working off, and then when I clicked to buy it, I clicked and bought the wrong chair. So, but literally the same chair, just a compact version, which is a bit gutting, man. Who even needs to eat, yeah.
Oh, right, Blizzard, mate, how are you doing? I'm all good, man. Coming on iRacing, now I'm going to be iRacing with my uncle, definitely, uh, but I, I don't know, like, generally if I'll be iRacing. It depends what you're racing, really. So, all right, uh, I need to try and box this back up somehow. Well, I have no idea how it goes in the box. Nah. Well, no, so they do two chairs, they do a compact version and they do a full-size version. I bought, so when I went to buy it, I researched and I looked at the, the normal version and then when I actually click buy, I've bought the same chair but the compact version by an accident. Completely, fully my fault, like 100% I'm to blame. Completely my fault. Tastes like, oh, are you talking about uh, monster eyes? <laughs> yeah, it's just annoying, mate, when you spend like 500, well, 400 quid, you know? So, but like, like uh, a few of the lads had said, they should, should be able to send it back, so if not, then I will just have to use it. It's just. <laughs> I can't afford to buy two. It was a treat to myself and I fucked up, so. Right. So they're still in the cushions, so now I need to try and get this back in. I can't get this out though, can I? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Apparently I can get it out. Literally just popped out. <laughs> Mint. I'll take that as a win. <laughs> Got it. Uh, it should be no issues returning it. Overclockers have a decent support. Okay, I'll take it, mate. That's what we'll do. Anyone remember how it came boxed, or what? <laughs> I don't have a clue. What came out of what box? I don't remember. Oh, here we go. I'll just use the stream. Mint. So what was in that box? Yeah, what was in that cardboard box there? Oh, that was the that was the the frame with the things in it, wasn't it? I remember.
nice. Right. Stick that back in the box. I don't know how any of this is going to go back in its box, man. I'm not even going to lie. Gonna put Jackson in the bed yet? Yeah. yeah, we make mistakes, man. It makes us all. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. As I say I messed up. I can't change it now, so. We'll, uh, we'll see if they'll take it back, and if they take it back, man, if they don't, they don't. We'll see. I mean, it's brand new, isn't it? So it's like, as, as a few of you have said now, I, I can't really see there being a, a problem getting it sent back, to be quite honest. I don't remember what the wheels were in. I don't feel like they were in that bag. I feel like they were in this bag, but this bag's broken. Either that or they're in here. I'm going to stick them in there because that's broke. I know where they were in the box, I just don't remember. The only downside is I can't put the piston down, so it won't go down any further, but it'll be all right, I think. It'll be fine. Right, so we've got that bit boxed. That's that fine. Now we just need to put the chair back in its box. And then we'll be chilling. came from. I think we emptied the big box first. Uh, yeah, so a form on top. Hang on. Ah, okay, so two chairs go, the two chair. Ah, okay. So that was laid on top. And then form.
Yeah, and then that box goes in there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've got it. That gun's in there like that. This is the worst part of unboxing something, is getting the bloody thing back in the box. Right, so that gang's in there like that, and then that gang's... Right, my only question is, how did that... Uh, what... Yeah, so how did that come out? Ah, okay. So it was the thick piece up in, in there. And then, that's like that, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Nice, and then, we we'll bang a bit of form in. I think we we'll bang a bit of form in like this. So the question is, now we got it all back in the box, do I tell them that I built it? Because uh, I feel like we should tell them that I built it. I feel like if you try and hide things then. It's just going to be even worse. I'm definitely going for a smoke after this. 100% of it. And then we just need to tape that back up. That is the noble chair complete, boys. What a bugger. That's it, done. Sorted. Oh well. That'll be that then. What are we saying, chat? I'll catch up with a bit of chat before we go for a smoke. Oh, that's better. I thought it felt tiny, man. Yeah. My desk's definitely too high, though, but I also really start. So, jokes aside, right, I would like it if it was, like, another couple of centimetres taller. So I would like to be, like, up just, just a little bit more. And they do a lift kit for this at like, I think it's three centimetres for this chair. So I've ordered a lift kit for it. And then I'm going to just build a, build a footrest in. One of the things I, I could never do though, right, is I always game like this. So I literally game I, I, hands on the armrest and straight out like this. And one of the things I used to see people doing was gaming on the desk. So they would have the whole arms and that on the desk. And I've been gaming a little bit like that and I've actually been enjoying it. So I don't really want my chair all the way up, but it's not far off. Like, it's only the width of my hand. So just another couple of centimetres would be. So, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, after the smoke, I want to get my I want to get my racing rig set up. Uh, yeah, after my smoke, I want to get my racing rig set up. So that's the plan. I'm going to go and have a quick smoke, and then uh, I want to put my new my new wheel uh, my new wheel clamp and that on, which is here. See if that goes a bit smoother. So I want to fit that to my rig and put my other pedals back on. Uh, and I'm going to order some food. Simple as that, GoPro's dying, so we've run out of battery life on the old GoPro anyway, so we've got 70% battery left, which is about 
half an hour. Yeah, I'm still pleased I'm going with the uh, the noble chair. I'm just a bit gutted, you know. But hey, here's what it is. Bit of dirt, I don't know. Don't know what to. Uh, I don't know what to play. Yeah, I know. I'm good that I ordered the wrong chair, man. My dad would be upstairs right now, pissing himself, laughing. I always do something wrong. God, I miss him, man. What a dude. Yeah, we'll phone overclockers tomorrow and then see what the crack is. What a bugger, man. Oh, Bowley's has got a... Uh, <laughs> Bowley's has got a sale on now as well. Shy. Oh, I need a quick wait and we'll come back and finish my smoke. Easier tricks. It is if they come and pick it up, yeah. Yeah, it will be if they come and collect it, but... Ho ho hopefully it all goes well. I'll fold it tomorrow. I'm sure, they I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah, true. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Hardwick Arms is open. What are they doing? Flatbreads, Parmesans, Pub Classics. Oh, fucking hell there, dear. Holy shit. Pub Classics, fish and chips. 17 quid plus eight pound delivery. Is it made out of gold? Wow. Yeah, no, you're good. You can keep that. And put your fish back in the sea for that price. Holy hell. Yeah, cheers, Jimmy. You and uh, like Popeye and someone else was uh, reassuring us. So I appreciate it, man. I really do. So... Yeah, like Marty was saying as well, so... No, I, I do appreciate it. We'll get it sorted. Yeah, it was completely my bad, that one.
What else do I want? I need to spend 50 pence more so I can order. Brilliant. 50p more before we can order, chat. Uh, what are we saying? We'll go with that. What's their delivery like? Is it bad or no? Oh no. Not bad at all. Alright, let's go and get me go and get me racing rig set up so we can go racing and we can chill out a bit. Watch me order this to the wrong address or something. Well No, we're good. Can of coke, yep. Yeah, we're sorted man, we got it we we got it in the end. Right, time to get the rig set up for racing. I wanted to try and get my speakers in, but I can't find my speaker cable. I might just order a speaker cable, actually. Right, how hard is it to swap my rig over? That's the question. So, that is the question. Alright, so we're going from trucking to racing. How long is it going to take, chat? What do you reckon? The only thing is, I've never had this wheel deck in yet, so let's see how long it takes. question is does it fit oh yeah yeah she fits <laughs> definitely a different height though Yeah, definitely gonna have to be two different heights. forget to put the cushions back in the chair box. I forgot that. Alright, swap these over and we'll see how we get on. I've just got to set the height on this because uh, I've not, not done this yet. Oh, 
definitely needs to go higher. That's for sure. Definitely two different heights. So we'll have to figure a way out to mark it. Where's my other, uh, where's my other locking pin? Am I sat on it? Oh, it's down there, bastard. Gonna get this in. I can't see is the problem. I think I've ever had this one in, so... Oh, okay. Trying to put it in the wrong bloody hole. It wouldn't be a first for me. Probably just going to start putting the uh, doing away with these quick release handles to be honest. As I could have had this in by now with an Allen key. as high as I can go for now until we change some stuff. Is that going to be high enough? Oh no. No, that's not, that's not going to be high enough at all, is it? See what that's like. And then we'll mark it. Oh, oh, it's too close as well. Good height though. Yeah, height's all right. Yeah, I've not had this wheel deck in yet, chat, so it's gonna take us a little bit to try and work out where I want it. So, I definitely want it further back. There we go. Get in there. Try that out. See what that's like. Oh, that's better. Yeah, instantly. But it still wants to be. It still wants to be further back though, because my F1 wheels. My F1 wheels big. So we've got the height now, just need the back. So if anyone's timing the wheel swap over, this is kind of wrong, because I've never had this one in yet. Right, that's 
as far back as I can go and as high as I can go for now until I move some stuff. That's better. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, that's better. Nice. I'll go with that for a first attempt, what do you reckon? Oh. Love the black floor. Yeah, it's, it's coming on, man. Fifteen minutes, nah. No, not, 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 not now. I reckon half an hour because I've got the actual wheel, uh, I've never had that wheel on before. So, yeah, I reckon half an hour. Oh. Nice, right, I need an Allen key. What do I do with me Alan Keys? Yeah, this bit's uh, this bit's not too bad. This bit's pretty quick. I just need uh, I just need some bolts and that doesn't take long to get these out. It's only two bolts. The pedal, the pedal swap all was probably the quickest part, to be honest. Right, let's find out what USB it is. Yeah, the, pe the pedal swap all was probably the quickest, like. It'll be the quickest if I actually take the bolts out. There we go. Out we come. See you later. Bye. Nailed it. New pedals in. Yeah, where's the cable at for them? I think the cable's up here. There's the USB end. Ah, oh, there she is. Done. Just got a bolt to bash in. Ah, that's the bit I've, uh, I think that's the bit I've got wrong. No bolt. I did have bolt ready to go in, but there's the tea nut there. Oh, there you are. Excellent. Stick a ball in there. Have we got a tea nut in there? Oh, we do. Nice. Let's me bolt that. Hello, bolts. Done. And then it's just if we want any shifters or all putting on, but I'm not bothered for tonight. Oh. 
That's it. GT mode to truck mode. Gotta get the TVs on now. Where's my TV on? There it is. Hmm. Oh. See what that's like. I'll have a little mess about. What have we got? 60% left. I'll have a little move in. I might chuck, a, might chuck my sequential and that on as well, but for now I'm not bothered. Oh, God, she's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love this rig, man. Got my ATS to work, but I had to delete them mods. Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, the rig, yeah, I would say probably about five, but to be honest, it wouldn't be worth that now because I've kind of bought stuff from it for oh, years. And then like this wheels, me dad's. Uh, some of the stuff is new, some of it's old, so... Really? Ten minutes? That's not bad. Oh, Luke's setting it up, 100% old. Oh, Luke's happy with his wheel. Yes. Uh, what have I got installed on this chat? I haven't got iRacing installed. What have I got installed? I've got Auto Armor Blitzer 2. It's got an update. I've got a set of Corsa. Oh, no, actually, hang on. Have I got content manager? I feel like I would have content manager. Oh well. No, I can't. It doesn't work like that, dude. I'm streaming off the GoPro right now, so... Yeah, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately, but I'll leave you here just while I'm messing on. Is the wheel turned on? No. Mint. Uh, I don't even know what I've got installed on a set of cars so you know. I don't think I've got any tracks installed. All right, let's see if I can get my wheel and that set up. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting one. All right, steering. Ah, oh, nine. Oh, you bastard. All right, so we want Fnatic. Oh, yeah, this one's dead, isn't it? This, this wheel's dead. We'll get the other one out. 
Brake. Clutch. Oh, we might have to bolt the handbrake on. And swap the shifters. <laughs> oh, my rig, my rig changeover is going to be like 45 million minutes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you know it. See what this is like. Verify your video settings. Yeah, what's up with my video settings like? That's all good. Vertical sync. I don't know how long with that. What's up with my settings like? That's it, sir. Uh, I should have Content Manager, mate. I don't think I've got it installed at the minute. So, I do have my light on 100% brightness right now, though. So, I can't believe I got the wrong chair, man. Good. Maybe just turn this down a bit. I'll just turn it off. Is it going to load like, oh, has it crashed? Uh, it's crashed. Ah. So let me set the car so not work then. Crashed again. Track, maybe? I think I need to just put a uh, thingy back in. It's got to be track, hasn't it? What's it crashing for? I'll go with the old brand's hatch and see if it's the car or the track. It's not happy. Oh, no. Uh, track. Oof, it's bright. Holy shit. Jesus. My God, it's bright. Oh, my graphics is off by like a mile. Oh, she's bright. Oh, I've got no gears. Oh, it's on my truck shifter, boys. Oh, the clutch is heavy. Oh, she's violent. What's noisy? She's, she's loud. Oof. I've never used this wheel yet. Uh, I've never used this. Uh... Oh, that's some slop in that, like. Yeah, that's, it must just be the wheel, I think. I'm gonna sex. I've got nowhere to put my phone. Right, have I got a drift profile in here? Oh, let us change this wheel. This wheel's bollocks, man. Let's swap this wheel out. Oh. That wheel is absolutely toast, man. Let's swap that out. Oh, what 
we said. Did he get timed out again, did he? Oh no. Yeah, Mickey, if you know how much it costs, why ask? You know what I mean? How do I get out of this? There we go. Right, we'll go on number two. Auto. Eighty. How will any of these do? That one's on a hundred. Fourth. That spring. Uh, oh, how much of that? Is that dampening? This go with that. How do I get out of here? Let's restart that. How do I do a restart? It's not happy. I just want to... Where's my mouse at, man? Oh, has my mouse died? Is that the issue? No. It doesn't. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, the pedals feel amazing. Oh, wheel doesn't know. Oh my God, wheel's interesting. I don't know what any of the settings mean. God, the clutch is hard. Oh, mate. Google some settings for this wheel. I've never used it before. Yeah, I never used this wheel for drifting. It doesn't like setting off in third, I know that. Ah, 
that's better. Let's slow the wheel. I wonder how we speed the wheel up, it's sluggish. How do we speed the wheel up? Force, spring, dampening off. Oh yeah, it's slow. Yeah, it's so slow. It's like it's me me motor wheels rapid. It's purely settings like because it's not set up at all. What's the chat saying? Oh my bad, I was sat on my phone. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Shit. My bad, I didn't lock my phone. You got the settings on auto? Yeah, but there's like loads of wheel settings, isn't there? Yeah, it's that whip, man. God, it's slow. Oh, my bad, chat. Did I actually, like, annoy anybody? Yeah, it's slow, that. Proper FOV. I haven't set me FOV up yet. I just eyeballed it. Roughly for now. So yeah, I've not really set it up yet, but I will do. Uh, I'm just going to check my food. There we go. C S L D D. Drift settings. Drift settings for a set of Corsa. Aren't they? So the next one is uh, force feedback scaling. I tried peak and then the other option is linear. Uh, linear felt kind of weird to me. And the uh, set of Corsas. All right, everyone. So this is going to be an overview of my CSL DD settings. Well, I'll give you your settings. For drifting as hard as I drive in the game. And so you drive. Uh, I don't really know. It could get weird. We're going to start with the fan set control panel. The maximum steering angle is going to be auto. And we're going to set the steering angle in a set of, in the, uh, set of Corsa settings a little bit later. All right, the next setting is the overall force feedback strength. Uh, we're going to leave this at 100%, so it's getting all the strength from the game. And um, you're just going to want to adjust the force feedback strength like per car in the game, like when you're loaded up in the car, doing the setup and all that stuff, um, set the force feedback strength in the car. I usually run 70 to 75%, depending on the car. So the next one is uh, force feedback scaling. I tried peak, and then the other option is linear. Uh, linear felt kind of weird to me, it wasn't really liking it, so just leave it on the default peak. All right, so the next few settings really affect the way the wheel like spins and oscillates like you want it to still spin fast but not oscillate and these are the settings that really help control that so it really helps have like smooth transitions and smooth initiations and all that stuff and uh the first one is natural damper i put it at 35 percent a lot of people will run it way lower but i thought it oscillates too much so 35 is kind of a good balance between having low oscillation but also spinning fast enough I tried, you know, turning it up really high, like 55 and stuff, but it just made it too slow and wouldn't spin fast enough to keep up with the car. So 35 is mm. where I landed. All right, so with natural friction, it's just 
sort of adding resistance. I love this part of game. And from my understanding, this is something you want to at least have a little bit of with any direct drive wheel. Uh, so I just run 10%. I don't think you need to run a whole lot. Some people run way less. I, I think at one point I had it like 5 or 3 or something. Um, it's pretty subtle. It's not like a huge thing, but it kind of kind of helps reduce the oscillation slightly, but there's not like a huge impact with this one. Man's got some Natural mad inertia. settings. We'll have a look at this in a minute. Let's get this installed first. Right, how are we doing, chat? Are you over your timing out on that? Yeah, my bad. All right, Samuel, how's it going, man? Yeah, I've got the booster back, yeah. No, it's the wheel settings that are off. Yeah, wheel settings are off by a mile. Like, it, it doesn't even feel roughly like where I would have it, you know? But I want to I wanna get dirt rallying and that, and I want to get a couple of days of rallying in, a bit of F1 and stuff like that, you know? So I definitely, uh, yeah, I definitely want to just chill on some other games for a bit. So, probably no streams for a couple of days, I would think. So, I just want to chill in my house and just, you know, I'm going to Becky's for a couple of days next week as well, so I'll just take a laptop and probably chill. I was meant to be playing Far Cry with Becky tonight, actually. I, I've let her down on that one. But, I'm enjoying myself, so I'm sure we should be fine. I can't believe I timed that many people out, man. Just by sitting on my phone. Well. Tuning menu, right, here we go, back to the guy. Right, bear with this chat. Let's go back to this dude. Uh, helps further reduce oscillations that are set. A lot of people will run way lower, but I thought it oscillates too much, so 35 is kind of a good balance between having low oscillation, but also spinning fast enough. I tried, you know, turning it up really high to like 55 and stuff, but it just made it too slow and would spin fast enough to keep up with the car. So 35 is where I landed. All right, so with natural friction, it's just sort of adding resistance to the wheel. From my understanding, this is something you want to at least have a little bit of with any direct drive wheel. Uh, so I just run 10%. I don't think you need to run a whole lot. Some people run way less. I, I think at one point I had it at like five or three or something. Um, it's pretty subtle. It's not like a huge thing, but it kind of, kind of helps reduce the oscillations. Lightly, but there's not like a huge impact with this one. Natural and 